Hey everyone, uh, for a while now I've been wanting to make a video about my rain barrel project and, and what I did. I didn't find a lot of videos on YouTube that really did what I was thinking about doing. So uh, I picked up a few of these rain barrels uh, from the city um, and they go to my garden. So I thought, you know, the kids might benefit from learning where their food comes from and all that. So we decided, I decided to do a garden. So. Got these rain barrels. I got some room on the right there uh, where those green chairs are currently for some more uh, rain barrels in parallel. They fill up vertically together uh, and they're fed through that one 45 degree line. Comes out of an Oatly brand uh, coupler. You put two little cuts in your, uh, your downspout there and it just grabs the water off the walls and sends it over. It lets some bypass. So there's some grates here. Um, keeps bugs out and stuff and then I've got overflow on both sides that flow out down to the bottom. Uh, this is a quick connect PVC with the right tool it'll slide right out uh, so I can add more on later if I want to and just dig up and cut the pipe down there. So I put that valve in it's really just for if I need to service the pump I can save the rainwater that's in the barrels. Uh, so the low, low pressure comes through here comes up the wall through a valve, through a union, and into the filter system. That filter system is just one little uh, filter to keep grass and stuff out. So uh, I need to paint that or put a cover on it. I knew it was going to grow algae, but um, I haven't, haven't handled that just yet. Uh, so this box is, the, the pump is not waterproof, so I picked up a box and mounted the pump in there. It actually mounted just great with the provided hardware and such. Um, it's a sure flow pump, something like three gallons an hour, 120 volt. You can get it in 12 volt as well. So um, that's the pressure sensor at the bottom. Uh, I've had some issues with the pressure sensor, even though it's adjustable. Uh, it'll get where it pressurizes on the high side here, and it'll just run forever and never make pressure. So um, I put the solid state relay in there to switch on through that high. That switches that high voltage cable via the low voltage cable. So the low voltage carries uh, the signal for the solenoid, turns on that relay down there, and uh, that's it. High pressure water comes out the right side here, down through the unions, through the valves, um, and down to that sprinkler valve. So that's the high pressure side. Um, I flip that on with the Wi-Fi sprinkler controller, and it goes down through the ground, da -da 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 -da, up to the garden. So. I have a few extra valves in here. Those are not necessary, but I kind of wanted to future-proof it. The one on the right there I can turn on and let hose water in, like tap water, turn off some of these other ones, and basically fill my barrels. Uh, that one down there is a high-pressure uh, line for filling buckets and stuff, but um, I can, uh, which I don't actually use, but I can fill up uh, like a 50-50 mix if I want to, or I can just store water. I thought it would be useful to be able to pump in there from uh, the hose that's over there on the wall. So, uh, let's see, the uh, wiring that goes to the sprinkler controller, uh, that's low voltage, it's like DC on mine, but usually 24 volt AC, and then that's a uh, 110 or 120 volt, uh, I just grommeted into the side and I plug into the external outlet, so let's head over to the garden. So a few quick things worth noting, uh, that pressure issue I was having happened when the valve is closed and when it's open. So they do sell a pressure accumulator. So if you're going to use one of these pumps in a house or you could possibly get rid of that solid state relay, save some money and use that accumulator. I'm not sure it's going to work, but I think that's what it's for is to sort of smooth out those pressure spikes. So I would definitely check into that. Another thing with that solid state relay, uh, I'm using Open Sprinkler, which is a really nice uh, Wi-Fi based system, kind of DIY uh, inspired that a guy sells. Um, that uses DC to trigger those solenoids and therefore I was able to use it on the solid state relay to trigger that as well at the same time on the same output. So uh, if you have just a, a regular run-of-the-mill system that has 24 volt AC you want to make sure that your solid state relay is going to accept that and turn on the pump. So if you're planning to use the relay definitely think that through. So the last thing I'll say is uh, big props to M.I. Gardner on YouTube. He has some great videos out there that's helped me along quite a bit, and I got my seeds from him. So uh, I'm running six different types of tomatoes in this raised bed. So 
Uh, if you like what you see, don't take my advice. Go check out his videos. He's way into this stuff. I'm just getting into it. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you like it, um, let me know. I think I might do a closed loop moisture sensor and graphing and all that stuff. So, if you're into this stuff or you think it's cool, either on the gardening side of things or just general nerd side of things, then uh, let me know and I'll keep making videos on this stuff.